Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? And next, I am planning to show you that how to replace this uh, Ford Focus cars, this engine coolant replace, and this coolant. When we go to look that closer, coolant canister is in here. And first step, what we need to need do when we are starting to replace our coolant is to take that cap and hat away and let's go to look that closer that what that means there's this cap and this cap ro rotation is in that direction and then this cap opens and we can also see that this our canister is full of this coolant liquid and now I am planning to replace those and this replacement happens so that when we look at our engine and there is this Ford Jetek engine it is idea that we look at radiator what is in here and then we need to go in here below of this engine area to look that where is this drying out bolt and next I need to of course little bit lift up this my body that I can go to open that drying out bolt okay and there is this our engine and there is this uh, this right wheel and in there is left wheel okay good and then when we look in here this upper area in here we can see that there's radiator and in engine oil sump and there is gearbox and in here we have this oil drying bolt in here and then when we look in that area in here, there is our target. This oil, uh, this coolant drying out bolt in here. This is radiator and let's go to look that next. Okay, and now we are looking this drying out bolt and it is that bolt in here. And we need to next open that bolt, but before of that we need some canister. Okay, and there is this our drying out bolt, and then be carefully with that drying out bolt because in here, when I rotate that in this way open, it opens, and quite soon there start to came this coolant liquid out in here, and that's we need some kind of plastic canister like in that one that I can dry in in here this coolant and. Then, then I start my job and I open that bolt soon a little bit. Okay, and there is my bolt and there is my canister and then I open that bolt in here a little bit. I rotate in that way and soon there came to this comes. Okay, now it start to dry this coolant liquid. And then I need to only wait. I can little bit open that more. And it, it comes faster. Okay, now it came. And in that point, be careful that this, this coolant don't dry to your face. Use protective glasses. Because now now it grinds in that way and then I need to only wait that that this all coolants grinds out and there is this coolant there is something like four liters and then then we can look this our canister work that what is there happening next Okay, and there is this coolant is drying and it is going directly in there. And then I need to only wait something like five minutes that all coolants they are totally out. And when this all drains are out, it is easy to check that when in here there is no any drying in that bolt. And now this we can see that there is this coolant drying and then work uh, work so that you have fresh air because this is harmful vapors and next I'm going to open my garage door ok 
Okay, now we have more fresh air and and then when I have drying all of these coolants out, next step is to tap and close that plastic at this uh, drying out bolt using our hands and we don't need any tongs, only hands rotation and it's our next task. And then we continue. Okay, and here we have this drying out bolt, what is plastic, and it looks like that. And then if it happens so that this drying out bolt become, became broken, or it damages, then we need to only purchase new, new drying out bolt, and this is plastic. And then we, we go to install that drying out bolt back, and there is this our target, and there is this hole, and here there is this hole, and then I have this drying out bolt in my hand, and I insert that in back in there, now it's there, and then I a little bit rotate that, actually I need to rotate quite many turns, Bolt. And then only using my fingers, and, and now it's end, and only two fingers, and only like like so many thumbs and fingers can be held in in that way, and now it's fine. Okay, and now this drying out bolt is ready. Okay, and then we can start to add more coolant. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and now when this drying out bolt, what location was in here, it is tapped and it's closed. Next step we have to add in here this radiator, this uh, coolant liquid. And for that purpose we can Use some this uh, small canister like in that one, and in 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 when we have in here this cap, what is normally in here, we need to open that cap first, and then I only grind in in here this this radiator coolant coolant liquid, and. There is an idea that, that when, when I add in here this new coolant liquid, what amount is about, I believe that 4 liters, and it is like one and a half gallons. First I need to add that totally full. And let's go to look at what means totally full. And I changed a little bit that view. But we can look in their inside and this totally full means that that this is full of this coolant liquid, like in here now. And when I add, now it's full of this liquid. And this is starting point. And next step is that when this radiator is new, that next I need to go to start this engine and then suddenly this drying this uh, coolant liquid goes down something like one liter or one quarter because this water pump it pumps this coolant inside in this engine and let's let's go to do that next and I start my car's engine next Then we need to wait something like, as we can see that there is bubbles, bubbles coming in here. We need to wait in some uh, couple of minutes, uh, sorry, not couple of minutes, 
so long that these bubbles are coming and we need to all time add in here more this cool one. And we need to keep this cap open. And remember also that we have to be in outside and something like 10 to 20 minutes we need to constantly add in here the cool. And engine must be running all time. And be careful with that turn because it is dangerous. Only in here the new cooler. And this coolant level should be in that, that amount that is almost full. This is the one in here. Now we have enough. But I need to wait so long that, that all of these bubbles come out. And it takes time something like 20 minutes. And we wait. Okay, and then remember always that when this engine is running that we have to be in outside or then this garage door must be open because otherwise it is really dangerous if our engine is running and we are inside and and so on because then we will happen back bad accident actually actually we became dead it is like suicide okay and that's I recommend that always when you start your car engines please open door or actually go outside Okay, now when we check that what is this my status, I can see that okay, now this coolant liquid is in fine level, and now I can say that that everything is fine, and now I can finally tap and close this my my coolant uh, tank, this cap and hat, and now it's ready, and now I believe that my this Ford Jetek and this ZTEC engine is ready for service my driving. Okay, and thank you again for watching and have a nice day to you.